in the wake of the mass shooting at a Colorado movie theater and the death of Trayvon Martin, the nation is forced to reevaluate its gun control laws. Gun enthusiasts insist that additional laws will only be a disservice to law-abiding citizens. Gun salesman Payne Cook of Fomar's Guns and Jewelry does not believe stricter gun control will prevent gun-related crimes. Oh, I said that guns don't kill people, people kill people, flat out. Um, I don't think it will. Although the Second Amendment protects citizens to possess an operable handgun, easy access to assault rifles and the lack of federal background checks is placing firearms in the wrong hands. It's the, it's the private buyers. It's the guys mm -hmm. going to get it from the guy across the street. And it's hard to stop that. Yeah. Tallahassee law enforcement and community organizations have partnered together to host the Bury a Gun, Not a Loved One program. The event is a gun buyback program that aims to reduce homicides and other gun-related incidents in the Tallahassee community. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, 40% of gun sales do not require background checks. Between March 1994 and December 2008, background checks prevented 1.8 million prohibited people from purchasing firearms. For News 20 at 5, I'm Amanda Legros.